All right, more dumpster diving at night, as per usual. I wanted to leave a little earlier, but there was a little brief foot pursuit that I <coughs> wanted to catch some details on. But anyways, we got this nice six-foot piece of aluminum right here, this gigantic screen as well. There might be some other stuff in here, but I don't know if you can tell. This light is, as you can see, it's missing an LED. And boy, is this thing going in the right spot. This thing is absolute garbage. When I get home, I have to order me something to use as a light. This thing is, I mean, look at it. It's more of a hazard if anything to occupy one of my hands, but I might be able to get better light actually off my phone screen with my phone at 100% brightness. I think I will get better light. But anyways, we're gonna strip this stuff in here. See, if there might be like one or two other things in here, and we'll get going. All right, I just figured I'd show you, turn you guys on real quick because I've seen these two boxes that said Dell on them. I was pretty sure they were empty, and they are. Yeah, they must have just gotten new stuff. But anyways, I didn't show you. You probably can't see. James had found this cooler and a bunch of wire at a secret location. This is full of bottles, and there's more bottles back here. Uh, at the golden one that you can't see, there's just a bunch of bottles, really. Some nice, and some wood James will swing back and grab if we have room for. Other than that, I mean, nothing. I hit Wasted Time Drive. Lived up to its name. Two fuses and two water bottles. So. You know. Yeah, swing's a dumpster place. Oh, yeah, that is quite bad in the corner. You guys can't see it, but there's a hole. Like, me, I literally... Oh, this it. hole. There's a big section. This is... Oh, yeah, this is just... Yeah. One of these days, when they put something heavy enough in there, they're just going to lift this up, and this bottom is just going to fall out. I literally, you know, break the little section box in it. A little full wave of dumpster. Alright, we'll metal. Some sort. Yay. Alright. Alright, so we're out here at the flowing dumpster, as per usual. And, uh, as you can see, it's nice and light out, so I finally got myself a headlight came in today. And I must say, this is pretty bright. I mean, this is just setting one. I mean, this thing will cover some distance. What well, I name has got his light up. So now, so now we can both see. And so far, it's looking like a disappointment. I mean, last like two weeks, there hasn't been anything here. Well, I said, that was probably steel, because last time you said, yeah, to grab them on trash pick and they were steel. Yep, cut you off. That's much. What well, not? There's not really anything. Yes, sir. I didn't even go in. But anyways, it is also freezing out here. I mean, we're talking, it's got to be like 40s. I mean, they're putting frost warnings out. Because it's supposed to be like upper 30s. They're putting out frost warnings for tomorrow, so. Hey. That's not bad. It's just missing a top piece. Or is it? jinky but... I'd say, or is it kind of broken? Yeah, that's kind of broken. I don't know. That's been the handle on it. Thanks, you know, we need more shovels. We only have like four of them. Yeah, but it's long handle ones. Alright, well, we might come back for that. But, anyways, we're going to keep going on our normal route. This just starting. I'll let you know if there's anything good anywhere along the route. Alright, at the door dumpster, a couple of big hunks of steel, it appears. And uh, a couple of stickers. So actually, I had one of those stickers in the trash, in the tote. It was at the very bottom. It had been there for a few weeks. And then he, when it got dumped, the guy, uh, Nick, he had grabbed it and actually put it on the side of the truck. I haven't seen him since. I don't know if it's still there or not. It probably is. Um, I haven't seen
see Monday when I see him. Well, we have a whole stack of them lying around downstairs because they're kind of cool, but I mean, they're not worth, they're not really worth anything. Yeah, that's a nice pile. Nice pile of heavy steel. Alright, so I guess check that box real quick. See if there's anything good in there, but. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, on to the next one, I guess. That's a fire dumpster, James. Says he thinks we got something. No, screw it, but. Oh, it's like a two-screw something. Oh, all I smell is oil. What's that in the back? Oh, that's silvery, shining looking thing. Uh, filter? Really? Oh, giant filter. Oh, yeah. That's gigantic oil filter. Like, that's generally what's in this dumpster, the fire dumpster, because this place... Is a yeah. Every once in a while, we find gauges, but predominantly that's what's here is oil. And there we go. Little cup. Ah, uh, because that's that's what this place does. Is there a for a specific brand of fire apparatus? So this is mostly what's in here. Usually is oil stuff. There's oil and greasy stuff. Because sometimes there's apparatus actually behind the gate. That's been a while. Since there's actually been apparatus, of course, it was interesting the last two times that we were both ladder companies that were back there. Uh, anything in the box? Nope. Alright, so that's a bust. 10 out of 10. Oh. Is there anything in the cardboard? Look at my light just reflecting off everything. Nope, bunch of cardboard. So, anyways, this is where those two gigantic computers came out of. One of them worked, right? Uh, no, both of them mean. Memory, or not memory, motherboards. So that's why they're still just setting upstairs? Yeah, we'll get codes. Pretty much up there, out there but. Junk. Yeah. Nope. Well, maybe a fun scrap out or something. Anyways, there's plenty of other crap to deal with downstairs first before we bring more crap down there. Of course, we're out here dumpster diving instead of dealing with that crap. But anyways. Alright, I'm wasting time driving. We got some aluminum. Oh. A good amount of aluminum. Huh? Oh, there's a bunch of aluminum down in there, I can see. Although we have a slight problem. There's a lot of roofing shingles in here, but we'll figure out how to get this stuff out of here. Oh yeah, look at all this roofing. Hold on, we'll get this stuff out of here. Alright, so after causing a great noise disturbance, because aluminum is the loudest metal on the planet, sheet aluminum in specific, loudest metal on the planet, I swear. Steel is a close con contestant, but I think aluminum will take the deal. But uh, there's all, <laughs> this is a lot of aluminum. There's all this aluminum thrown here, there's all this aluminum. I mean, this is a lot of aluminum. To, in the, to add to our stash. But as you can see, maybe, see, all this roofing shingles in here. This, a lot of this came out of the front right here, and this is half buried, so we had to throw a bunch of the shingles over to get it, to be able to just brute strength it out, to just rip it out. So we'll throw some of the shingles back in the front. Let's see if there's anything else in the back, but anyways, this is a lot of aluminum to uh, get folded up and onto the trailer. Of course, this is going to be extremely loud going through the other park. I don't know, we might ditch this in one of our stash holes or something. But, uh, we'll get this loaded up and taken somewhere. And hopefully not have the cops on us for any fucking noise complaint. But, uh, really, it's mostly industrial back here, I think. There's probably people in this building, I'm pretty sure there's people always in that building in the back. 
at that massive complex, because that's a massive complex. That goes on for three city blocks, I mean. But, um, then there's people, I know there's people over there, that one other business that's on the other side of this one. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, this is going to be loud sitting here stomping on all this aluminum and get it loaded up. But this is a great score. I mean, this is stuff, too, that's nice and easy. It'll store behind the shed until prices come back up. I mean, you might take some of this and cash it in, but otherwise, this is great. It'll store behind the shed and then sit on it until prices come up and cash it in. I mean, it's because it's super easy to store behind the shed. Whoop, it's not... Look at that big freaking three-inch nail that will go right to my tire. So I we'll do a little bit more exploring, but other than that, I'm going to pack this aluminum up and get on the road. Alright, so I got all that aluminum loaded up. As you can see, I kind of just loading it, not packing it nice or having it folded up. I mean, this could probably take, this probably could fit in half the space that it's fitting in right now, but good enough. I mean, while I've been doing that, James has been digging through the rest of the dumpster. And uh, in the back here and seeing what else you can find. A couple things, nothing spectacular. But um, hopefully this keeps up a couple more weeks. I mean, this is wait, this cash. Is there a big piece way back there? Big piece on this way. <laughs> Forget that. It's not pissing me off. It's coming out of the dumpster. We might as well. We have to add to the noise machine. Because this probably, if we run over an ant, they're going to hear this in Alaska. This is going to be loud. All the way to the stash hole. I'll have to probably take a couple more pieces of bowling back in here. Well, if I want to spend the time. I could probably get this to be all folded in nicely and just take like the bottom half of this up. But uh, I'm feeling lazy, so. Anyways, we'll update you if we ever get this other piece out. I want to make sure I clean up all the any nails or anything. I don't think there's any. And what's nice too is this is pretty much all clean aluminum too. This is. I mean, it's got, like, dirt on it, like, literal dirt, but nothing, no, not really any nails or anything, or big hunks of tar or anything that would contaminate it. It's all clean aluminum, pretty much. So, he's gonna... Okay, so this needs to be faced down most of the time while filming. But anyways, we'll get that out. Get that out, get this stash, and get the other complex, and then we'll just come back for it. Alright, so we're off in this little parking section that you can't see. In this little parking section, that's for uh, this bike path. For the bike path. Uh, we're gonna... We finished grabbing the other big pieces out of the uh, back of the dumpster. We're gonna repack this to get this somewhat not as bad looking. I guess we're trying... We'll repack it to see if we can uh, not have to stash this and if we can keep going with it. But actually, you can... But I mean, uh, I guess you can. James was about was gonna thinking about doing it in the parking lot, but uh, we got our first confrontation. I guess you can call it. Uh, there was a, when we were there, we were just we were starting to kind of pack, load up the last couple things, and you know, do a quick check of the ground to make sure there's no nails or anything. I'm gonna stand over here because you probably can't hear me with that right next to you. But uh, anyways, we were gonna go. James was thinking about repacking it. But I'm like, nah, I just want to get out of here. We've spent enough time here. We've made enough noise here. Good thing we did because right then a guy, pickup truck and a trailer guy pulls in. And then there's another uh, white Cadillac that pulled in. That, uh, I guess he has the other warehouses on the side because as we were leaving, he was opening the gate up. So he just kind of pulls over. You would think he was about to run us over. I mean, if he kept going, if he wanted to, he could run us right over and plow into the dumpster. But anyways... Uh, he, he kind of called out the window and I walked over there and, and he said the guy's just taking the metal the metal out and I'm like yeah we're just grabbing the, grabbing the metal out of there he's like no problem he didn't care so I mean we were pretty much done so then we just 
got out of there. But I, uh, I mean, he was, he was chill. He had no problems. He didn't care. So, uh, I wonder if that's him pulling out. No, no. I can see it. It's just a car. Because just over there, that's the road just over there. You can see the, where the lights are. So, anyways, we haven't even, it's uh, about quarter after nine. We haven't even hit the other place. We haven't even hit the main meat of the route because we just got ended up finding all this aluminum. So, I mean, like I was saying earlier, this will work fine. Probably stash some of it along the shed or figure out somewhere to stash it behind the shed. All that crap needs to be pulled out and redone anyways. So, but the problem is there's pears littered in there and those and during the daytime you can't really deal with them because there's 20 bees, like literally 20 bees on each pair. So, it's a so you can't really do anything with it, but all that needs to be pulled out, rearranged, and some of it, probably some of the old trash cans maybe thrown out or something with it. And then we can stash some of it. What in the world? That is not right. Come look at this. On the camera, look at this. The light is like shooting a laser beam. <laughs> That's very interesting. That's definitely not doing that in real life. That is quite interesting. It's quite interesting what lights and stuff will do on camera. They'll f freak out and do all sorts of weird things. But uh, like I said, we're going to store a bunch of this behind the shed probably because you figure prices are low. This is all nice, easy stuff to store. We'll store it till probably springtime. Maybe when prices, hopefully it'll come back up by then. And then we'll cash in because you figure in the winter time. Right in the hell this winter is going to be, this is all going to be frozen and buried in snow back there. There's no getting it. So it's kind of something that's got to wait till spring spring cleaning time to cash it all in. But, uh, anyways, this is quite the nice haul. This is more than the aluminum that's ever been in that dumpster. So, I'll get it. I swore I just heard someone talking. That's not me. Anyways, we'll get this packed up. Reloaded and on to the rest of the route. But hey, at least with this like 45 minute diversion, if any anyone's still in that complex, hopefully they would have left by now. So, anyways, here's some of the other stuff we got a little bit of conduit, a couple of water bottles, the stuff out of there. Grab the spool while we're over there and the tarp that was in the HVAC dumpster that had a little bit of stuff in it, but it was all garbage except for that tarp. Dude, there's definitely someone talking over here. Right, the house over there? The houses? You really think it's the houses? The there, there is houses, kind of where those lights are. They're, they're, that's a neighborhood that's in the city. It's either there, this place is haunted. I've heard voices out here too. Hey, that's one of the problems with dumpster driving at night. You start hearing things and making yourself paranoid. But yeah, there is houses over there. We're in the... There is a whole neighborhood over there. I don't know, it kind of does sound like it might be coming from the houses, because it does sound like it's coming from far over there. Anyways, before I give away exactly where we are, uh, I'm going to help them reload this. Alright, at the Golden Dumpster. I already looked in, I already looked in here, I already knew that was in here. I'm going to put that in front of the house. Maybe people think we got a security system. More bongs. More bongs? Ow! And uh, more bongs. Put the bongs in. Ah! Last week we found, what was it, three? Three yeah. bongs? Three bongs. Three bongs? They're all broken. Actually, no, I think, I think one of them might have been fine. But I know, actually, no, I think they were all broken. Uh, should be back in there somewhere. Hey, is it the same stuff? Oh yeah, look at that, more water bottles. Oh, I never told you guys that last load of bottles we were running, that was well, almost that was almost 16 bucks. Yeah, well, that's a new record. Yeah, you woke hold bottles. So anyways, we're gonna dump these out. Dump that one out. But anyways, any, anything else good in there, we'll bring it back for ya. <clears throat> Fine. <laughs> Too bad this camera has a delay. I would have caught that on film.
<laughs> Anyways, James just tripped and almost fell and, you know, kit, broke his neck. That would have been, I almost caught that on camera, but this camera's got a delay from when you hit start. It takes forever. Because this camera's a piece of junk. Coffee maker back there, too. Alright, so there's definitely like, as much, we're making sure, we're just making noise everywhere we go. Anyways. Alright, yes, we found a dehumidifier. Yeah, because there's a compressor in it. Make a silence. Sound air compressor out of it, apparently. Apparently, that's a thing. Anyways, there's this nice cut off of wood. And then over there, all that was, or it was just a bunch of bottles, a couple, a couple bucks. That little coffee maker. Cut the cork on it. That thing's smashed. Metal? Yeah, that might be stainless. Mm, that could be some metal. Probably stainless. Or fake stainless. I don't know, let's find out. And the answer is stainless. Oh, this is not dropping my magnet. Stainless. So I can see the trailer's pretty full. I don't know where the wood is going. Anyways. So I'll grab the cord on that. Probably grab the cord off of this. Might see what else is in this back corner. Looks like just anything. Looks like just a piece of furniture. Right, because there's this big recliner in here. There's this coffee maker. Multiple wavy gates. There's like four or five. And then there was must have been a dresser. So it's definitely probably some legal dumping mixed in here. Well, that's fine. It's a little bit of garbage. A little bit of scrap. So anyway, this is just the first section of this main area. I mean, we still have all the rest of this in it. But anyways, we'll grab these couple of things and move on. Alright, so I have this dumpster. Next one. There's this, all this wire. It, it almost seems like Cat 5, but it's definitely not. It's like super thin strands, and it's all... I mean... Technically, of number one quality. Uh, and that pile of paperwork from the city of Buffalo. Behind where you're standing. It was really in this corner. I know I've seen a piece. A couple pieces. It's, you know, I, can, I can see it. It's on the side of the top side. Oh, boy. You're standing right there. Stay under the city of Buffalo lawsuit papers. Actually, let me see that. I kind of want to see what it says. Well, you go fetch that. I'm not from the planning department. Something about a, some building they were doing. Alright, anyways, we'll move on to the next section. Alright, so we're over at that one place that we got all that wire from. Um, there's this gigantic dumpster. You guys can't really see it. But, uh... Let me see. Nope. This gigantic dumpster. Like, this thing is... It's taller than this one. By... Uh, no, actually, not by much. Slightly. But this thing, it says it's 40 yards. This thing seems like 50. Uh-huh. You can see it. 40... Cupid cards. <laughs> it seems like it's just a cart dumpster. But this thing is freaking huge. It seems like it's 50, maybe 60 yards. I mean, that thing is huge. So then this must be a 30. Or it might be just a 40 tub style. I don't know. That's just a bunch of cardboard according to James. And this one's just a bunch of wood. But I just wanted to show you guys that. Because that is huge. Alright, so we're at the roll off that we got that toter out of the other week. There's some you can see they're light. I was hoping they were cast aluminum. They're not. They're all steel but eh we'll grab them anyways I guess. All these big pieces of particle board. And then there's some other metal under this Ryobi box. And then out of the last one, a couple of things, some file folders, a couple of pieces of scrap. 
you line tape dispenser. Uh, another crock pot to be all steel. Last one we grabbed out of tote was pretty much all steel. There's only one piece, and it was like the heating part, and that was still dirty aluminum. So that's why I said there's some more under that rail. We actually I knew that was there. So, anyways, we'll grab this couple of non exciting things. Oh, but I did want to show you guys this. Ugh. Brand new. Ooh, you guys can't see. Hold on. Brand new uh, hitch. What the hell am I going to do with this? No, it's a scotch. I think it's a laminator. Ooh, I wonder if that's aluminum. I don't think so, but... Come on, aluminum. No. Damn. Yeah, bulls that. What? Eh. Yeah. I don't fall there, but... Huh. Fancy wooden bowl set. Seven-piece cell set. Huh. I think we had room. Oh, we got room. No, we really don't. <laughs> Alright, I gotta help him figure out where.